Hello everyone, it's Tomek here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another truck and today we are doing Jeddah. It's just been added to the F1 2021 game and I decided to make a truck guide quickly for it so can, you guys can get up to pace as quickly as possible around the truck and just bear in mind that this lap is a little bit scruffy but uh, yeah, I haven't done many laps on this circuit, nobody has so it's hard to, you know, find the confidence and, and give it full commitment uh, around a track that's just been added so uh, yeah we've just flown through the first sector don't worry I will analyze the lap closer in a bit uh, but as you can see lots of quick high-speed corners uh, and basically all about keeping the momentum nice uh, as we now head through this long left hand you can see losing the backhand slightly even kissing the wall that's what I meant the lap is a bit scruffy because we are just not used to these corners as we now head into this little chicane fifth gear uh, attacking the curbs the curbs around the track super flat uh, pretty much they do nothing to your car so you want to be utilizing absolutely all of them maximizing the width of the track available to you as we now head into the final sector of the track uh, and you can see another chicane and again we're using absolutely all of those curbs they are completely flat they are pretty much just like the normal track so uh there is no harm in in, in using them they are basically considered the track uh, as we now head into the final corner breaking right before the 50 meter wall into third gear late apex getting a nice exit and that is a quick lap of jeddah and now we're gonna get a bit closer into it So as I said, let's get into the lap a bit closer, look at it in slow motion. So going down into turn one, you want to be looking at the 100 meter board break right after it. Um, somewhere about the curb start, but I break a bit earlier, into fourth gear and a super early apex here for turn one, attacking all of this inside curb before quickly switching direction uh, into turn two, where again, you want to be using all of this curb. The curbs in turn one and two are a bit different to all the other. They are a bit bumpy, so we need to be careful on them. So we now go into the technical part of sector 1 and this quick left hander is all about track use, look at it, look at it. We are cutting absolutely all the track here and on the exit, just staying on the the second wide line, the, the, the outside wide line and that's all you need for the lap to not be invalidated. And now uh, fighting the understeer, quickly switching direction, the g-forces here uh, impacting the real drivers are gonna be crazy. And you can see keeping a tight line for this double left hander, uh, keeping this corner flat uh, and on the exit here, I was gonna understeer so that's why I downshifted to Sick, but you, you want to be downshifting to sick just for this corner not like I did uh, but yeah I, I was forced to do that and you can see all about keeping nice momentum using all the track uh, straightening up the car as soon as possible and that is it for sector one uh, as we now head into sector two and it starts off with this long left hand a hairpin pretty much uh, you can see on the entry uh, we trail break a lot we carry a lot of speed and kind of lose it throughout the corner going down to as low as 150 kph and on the exit applying the throttle as early as possible there's quite a bit of space to to use here on the outside. I lost the back end a little bit, that's why I kissed the wall here, um, which could result in damage in the actual session, but uh, yeah, it was good enough and uh, didn't end up invalid uh, as we now head into this little chicane. Again, all the track on the entry, fifth gear, close to the wall on the inside and on the exit, just utilize all the curve. Look how close we get to being outside the track limits and again, close to the wall on the exit. So we now approach the final part of the lap. Uh, this chicane here, 50 meter board is your braking and turning point into sixth gear. Uh, get as close as possible to the wall on the inside and let the car run out wide. Again, lots of curb you can use here. Uh, pretty much four wheels off the first white line and then a nice and clean exit. Staying as close as possible uh, to the right hand side and then heading over to the left hand side for this long DRS straight as we prepare the final corner where you want to be looking at uh, around between the 150 meter board, closer to the 50, uh, down into fourth, trail breaking a lot. Uh, a late apex here uh, to maximize the exit speed as you're gonna be uh, you know exiting onto a very long straight so fourth gear uh, careful with the traction again staying as close as possible to the wall on the right hand side uh, straightening up the car and that is a lap of Jeddah 
So uh, in the background now you can see the setup. I'm not gonna go too much over it as it is the currently the current TT setup. Uh, we haven't really worked on it, so yeah, it's all that I can give you. But yeah, that is it for Jeddah. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like the fact that I've uploaded this as quickly as possible, so you guys can get your hands on the new track and uh, really get on with it a bit easier with the help of this track guide. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon in another track guide. See ya.